Good evening and welcome to TL Physics. My name's Sarah and today I'm going to talk about the particle family tree. Now at GCSE you may have been spoken about, about protons, neutrons and electrons but the definition of particles goes far more than that. And this is a method of uh, sort of using a family tree to be able to identify key information. Now if you can memorise this family tree, it will really help you in the long run when you're trying to determine what type of interaction it is, is it a baryon, etc. And it will really help you go forward. So without further ado, I'm going to talk about this family tree. So you have all particles here and they are split up into two uh, types. They are either hadrons or leptons. Now the key difference between them is that a hadron experiences, experiences the strong force. So hadrons are found in the nucleus of an atom. Now, leptons are ones that don't experience the strong force, so they're found outside of the nucleus of the atom. And they include electrons, and the symbol for electrons E minus, now take a note of this minus charge, please. Uh, muons, so again, minus. Tauons, minus, and neutrinos. Neutrinos come in two fla uh, well, flavours, depending on who they're paired with. You get electron neutrinos, muon neutrinos and tauon neutrinos. Now the AQA syllabus really only focuses on electrons and muons but tauons is, can be, come up in some textbooks or revision guides that you read. Now leptons, leptons in this form, so E minus, mu minus, tau minus, have a lepton number of plus one. So when we're going to use them in equations, much like charges of plus one and minus one, if you see an electron like this, it has a lepton number of plus one. And this will make a little bit more sense when we start to talk about conservation. Now, hadrons experience a strong force. They are also made of quarks. And I'll talk a little bit more about quarks in another video. Baryons are um, a special type of hadron. And baryons have three quarks. And baryons, the ones that you know, are protons and neutrons. They're the ones that you know. The exam board may make up other ones which have a different selection of quarks or you get you to guess, but the ones you actually have to know are protons and neutrons. And these all have a baryon number of plus one. And this will make sense when we talk about conservation later. The quark composition of a proton is up, up, down, and I'll talk about where that comes from a little later. And neutrons are up, down, down. These are ones you need to know off by heart. Now, mesons are quite special. They are a quark anti quark pair and they include two special ones that you need to know on a kaon and a pion we use the letter pi for this <clears throat> now a little note is that when i say quark and antiquark we will talk there's a video dedicated to quarks later um, the thing you need to know about kaons is they contain at least one strange quark. And you can make these up, kaons and pions, based on their charge using quark data. And we'll talk a little bit later on in another video about that. So if you are able to draw this family tree, to know that hadrons experience a strong force, 
that baryons are made out of three quarks, so the measles are quark anti-quark pairs, but the kaons, where the leptons are, you'll be able to look at equations and garner information that will help you solve missing particles, knowing the interaction, etc. So this is the family tree of all particles.